gas will begin shortly. For those in their vehicles, you may watch the live stream on our website at stlouisedm.org forward slash watch or on our Facebook page by searching for our username at St. Louis DM Parish. Please remain in your car and wait for the arrival of the Eucharistic ministers. Please have your mask on before the arrival. Once they have arrived, please roll down your window, extend your hands outside of the lower window, and carefully receive communion. Remove your mask, consume the precious body, place your mask back on, and roll your window back up. Approximately halfway through Mass, an attendant will provide an opportunity for you to support the mission and work of our parish community. Please feel free to place your gift in the basket as it comes around. You may also sign up to donate electronically at stlouisedm.org forward slash give. Restrooms are available inside of the Monsignor Pierce Hall. Should you need to exit your vehicle at any time, please be sure to wear your mask when leaving your vehicle. Lastly, be sure to fill out the flyer you received at entrance and return it to a staff or volunteer member as you exit the parking lot after Mass. Thank you for joining us today. Please be sure to frequently visit our website, follow us on our social media pages, and text SLDM to 84576 in order to receive updates as they happen. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Whether you are joining us from inside your vehicle or from home, we are blessed to have you with us today. Before we begin Mass, we invite you to join us in a short prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. will begin shortly. For those in their vehicles, you may watch the live stream on our website at stlouisedm.org forward slash watch or on our Facebook page by searching for our username at St. Louis DM Parish. Please remain in your car and wait for the arrival of the Eucharistic ministers. Please have your mask on before the arrival. Once they have arrived, please roll down your window extend your hands outside of the lower window, and carefully receive communion. Remove your mask, consume the precious body, place your mask back on, and roll your window back up. Approximately halfway through Mass, an attendant will provide an opportunity for you to support the mission and work of our parish community. Please feel free to place your gift in the basket as it comes around. You may also sign up to donate electronically at stlouisedm.org forward slash give. Restrooms are available inside of the Monsignor Pierce Hall. Should you need to exit your vehicle at any time, please be sure to wear your mask when leaving your vehicle. Lastly, be sure to fill out the flyer you received at entrance and return it to a staff or volunteer member as you exit the parking lot after Mass. Thank you for joining us today. Please be sure to frequently visit our website, follow us on our social media pages, and text SLDM to 84576 in order to receive updates as they happen. 
Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Whether you are joining us from inside your vehicle or from home, we are blessed to have you with us today. Before we begin Mass, we invite you to join us in a short prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mass will begin shortly. For those in their vehicles, you may watch the live stream on our website at stlouisedm.org forward slash watch or on our Facebook page by searching for our username at St. Louis DM Parish. Please remain in your car and wait for the arrival of the Eucharistic ministers. Please have your mask on before the arrival. Once they have arrived, please roll down your window, extend your hands outside of the lower window, and carefully receive communion. Remove your mask, consume the precious body, place your mask back on, and roll your window back up. Approximately halfway through Mass, an attendant will provide an opportunity for you to support the mission and work of our parish community. Please feel free to place your gift in the basket as it comes around. You may also sign up to donate electronically at stlouisedm.org forward slash give. Restrooms are available inside of the Monsignor Pierce Hall. Should you need to exit your vehicle at any time, please be sure to wear your mask when leaving your vehicle. Lastly, be sure to fill out the flyer you received at entrance and return it to a staff or volunteer member as you exit the parking lot after Mass. Thank you for joining us today. Please be sure to frequently visit our website, follow us on our social media pages, and text SLDM to 84576 in order to receive updates as they happen. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Whether you are joining us from inside your vehicle or from home, we are blessed to have you with us today. Before we begin Mass, we invite you to join us in a short prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
Mass will begin shortly. For those in their vehicles, you may watch the live stream on our website at stlouisedm.org forward slash watch or on our Facebook page by searching for our username at St. Louis DM Parish. Please remain in your car and wait for the arrival of the Eucharistic ministers. Please have your mask on before the arrival. Once they have arrived, please roll down your window, extend your hands outside of the lower window, and carefully receive communion. Remove your mask, consume the precious body, place your mask back on, and roll your window back up. Approximately halfway through Mass, an attendant will provide an opportunity for you to support the mission and work of our parish community. Please feel free to place your gift in the basket as it comes around. You may also sign up to donate electronically at stlouisedm.org forward slash give. Restrooms are available inside of the Monsignor Pierce Hall. Should you need to exit your vehicle at any time, please be sure to wear your mask when leaving your vehicle. Lastly, be sure to fill out the flyer you received at entrance and return it to a staff or volunteer member as you exit the parking lot after Mass. Thank you for joining us today. Please be sure to frequently visit our website, follow us on our social media pages, and text SLDM to 84576 in order to receive updates as they happen. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Mass will begin shortly. Hello, and welcome to our St. Louis de Marillac Mass. Whether you are joining us from inside your vehicle or from home, we are blessed to have you with us today. Before we begin Mass, we invite you to join us in a short prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good morning and welcome to today's liturgy as we celebrate 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Christ gives us all we need to feed those he calls us to serve. Today's reading calls us, like the disciples, to feed others, but only after having been nourished ourselves. We are invited to delight in rich fare, feasting on the love of God that is stronger than death. In responding to God's call, we can trust that Christ will give us all we need to carry out his commands. Our presider for this Mass is Father Robert Fulton, and I will be assisting. My name is Deacon Omar. In reverence for the liturgy, let us now take a moment to silence. No, nope. we're all in our vehicles right now. And so with that, let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord for today's liturgy. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here at the table of plenty. 
my table Where saints and sinners are friends I wait to welcome the lost and lonely To share the cup of my love Come to the feast of heaven and earth Come to the table of For all that we need Here at the table of plenty In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit The Lord be with you And good morning everyone and welcome to the 930 Mass uh, Whether you're in your cars or if watching us virtually, uh, glad to have you uh, here. And this is the 18th week of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And now let us pray the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant that benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all of his ways and holy in all of his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor power, nor height, nor, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to them, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them over here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you. 
Think about the 12 full baskets of fragments after feeding 5,000 plus people on five loaves and two fish. A miracle indeed. Sometimes the full uh, baskets of fragments gets overshadowed by the awesome miracle that Jesus just did. There is something very special about the 12 baskets of leftover fragments. So keep those 12 baskets of leftovers in your thoughts for now. And let's jump into our second reading, particularly from the two verses, Romans 8, 35 to 36. These two verses are so powerful, especially in light of everything that's happening in our nation right now. Listen to these words. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? Wow. St. Paul makes it very clear for us. None of these will separate us from the love of God in our lives. We may suffer in so many ways, like fighting a tough illness, being in a violent situation, having issues with family, not being able to pay our bills, feeling so alone, or just being in despair. But the one thing that we can hold on to, take it 100% with us, is that God will never abandon us. Now let's go back to today's gospel. Jesus needed a little alone time to, to grieve the loss of his second cousin, John the Baptist. But he noticed that the crowds, with their sick, were following him. Now here's the best part about Jesus. He did not abandon the crowds. He never said, hey, no, I, I can't help you right now. You see, I'm really distraught. I just found out Herod killed my cousin. Jesus took pity on the crowds, and he cured the sick. He didn't shoo them away. Yeah, I don't have time for you right now. Jesus showed genuine love to them, putting their needs first above his own need to grieve the loss of John the Baptist. That's the love of our God. Now the disciples, on the other hand, were willing to shoo away the people. Lord, it's getting late. Send the people away so they can buy some food for themselves. The disciples did not want to take initiative to help the people out themselves. I'm not trying to paint the apostles in a bad light here by any means. They obviously eventually learned what it means to love like Jesus, and they became saints. My brothers and sisters, we are disciples of the Lord. We are called to love like Jesus. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish and through his grace multiplied the loaves and fishes and instructed. He instructed his disciples, that's you and me, to share that abundant grace with the people. We are supposed to share the grace that we receive, not keep it to ourselves. And his grace is so abundant, so much so that there were still 12 full baskets of leftover grace. So don't ever let it get in your head that Jesus' grace is not enough. That's just the pressures of our godless culture getting into our own thoughts. God's love surpasses what we need. In so many ways, God will give you more than what you need. That's the 12 baskets filled with leftover food after the people got their fill. The abundance of God's goodness. And let's not confuse God's blessings with materialism or the amount of money that we have in our bank. That mistake is made way too many times. We are blessed simply because we have been created. He has called us to be part of his kingdom and to share with others the grace he gives us. That's the life that we are called to live. St. Paul believed and proclaimed this message of grace that whatever life throws at us, no matter how difficult things may get, God will be there. He will never abandon us. However, Sometimes in the midst of our own suffering or the sufferings that we see in the world, it does not matter how much faith we have, we, we, sometimes, we sometimes question, Lord, where are you in all of this? 
Why don't you do something? Why do you allow evil to prevail? Why do you allow this pandemic to keep your people from worshiping you? And that's okay. It's okay to share your thoughts, your stress, your sufferings with the Lord. He wants to hear from you. Just like he heard the crowds that were following him. Tell him your worries, your concerns. The Lord will help you get through it. He will give you that grace that you need so that you may overcome. But not only that, he will give you that basket filled with leftover grace to share the message of his kingdom with others. My brothers and sisters, we just simply need to be open to that grace. Know what happens when we separate ourselves from God's love, when we do not allow God's grace to move and change the very depths of our hearts. We become bitter and rude to each other. We blame others for our problems and never accept responsibility for our own actions. We think about ourselves only. We become our own victims and force others to fill our needs. The more we remove God from our conversations, the less we pray, the less we study our faith, the more we treat others like garbage, especially if they don't share our own views, and the more we put Jesus in a box for Sundays only, and the less we critically think and absorb the truth what the media tells us, the more we will see the rise of a godless society taking place. Jesus is the example of what it means to be humble, not prideful. To be a Christian and to be prideful at the same time, that doesn't work at promoting God's kingdom. We can't promote the kingdom of God if we are bitter and grumpy all the time and at each other's throats. These are the things that happen when we separate ourselves from God's grace. So, how do we open ourselves to this abundant grace? By being brutally honest with ourselves, humbling ourselves before Jesus, and allowing the Lord to fill those gaps in our hearts and his love to change and make ourselves better. So let us pray for each other that we may be completely open to allowing God's grace to change our very character and that the Lord may empower all of us with that extra basket of grace to share the message of his kingdom. Now that's a life worth living. That is a life living for God. And now let us profess the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen.
With hopeful hearts, we bring our needs to God, whose love is stronger than death, and who nourishes us with the bread of life. For the church, may Christ continue to bless her with all she needs to bring his love to the world. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For those in positions of authority, may God grant them compassion and wisdom in their decision-making. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those traveling the long road of grief, May they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may we be given the wisdom to discern what God is asking us to do and the nourishment to answer that call with generosity. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died from the coronavirus, may they rest in God's eternal love. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, such as police, firefighters, medical staff, that they may be safe and protected as they answer their call to give service to others, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our U.S. military, protect them and be their constant companion, their refuge in every adversity. Guide them home safely, especially Halim Joseph Ademai, who is enlisted in the Navy. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions written in our prayer request books, for the repose of the souls of Gregory Vacarias and Dorothy Norris, for whom this Mass is offered, and for the unemployed and homeless of our community, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we bring you these needs today, confident in the power of your love and the abundance of your generosity. To your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Miracle of grace mystery of faith calling us to venture to the deep and though our senses fail your grace has still prevail we become the love that we receive bread of life bread of life those who eat this bread shall live and never die. Bread of love, bread of love. Your true presence in this holy sacrifice. Bread of love. hungry heart the bread come down from heaven above like a grain of wheat we fall down at your feet dying here with you let us rise bread of life bread of life those who eat this bread shall live Holy sacrifice, bread of life, 
<clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblations of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's surely right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim uh, Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Gregory Bacardeus, 
and Arthur Norris. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
shepherd's mind. I am the truth and life. I am the way and life. I am who I am and I am for you. Come and follow me. sorrow I come to those who are in need hope for today and for tomorrow light for all who want to see bread of life I am the hope in night I am the door wide open I am the shepherd's mind I am the truth and life I am the way in life I am who I am and I am Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Hmm. Extra missalettes are available to pick up in the parish front office if you so wish to pick them up. The parish office will be open weekdays from 8 to 5 and Saturdays and Sundays from 9 to 2. Faith Formation is seeking your help to fill a variety of volunteer positions. Please prayerfully consider if you have a yearning to dedicate to building up our faith communing community. Training will be provided. For, for more information, please call the Faith Formation Office. The Safeguard the Children Committee is looking for new members who are parents of faith formation students or have expertise in law enforcement, mental health, or other professions. Please contact the parish office for more information. All of you in your car and waiting to receive community, communion, the ministers will be there shortly. After receiving communion, say a prayer of thanksgiving and safely exit on to Bonnie Cove so you can ensure the safety of our EMs as they return to the church. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God, and have a blessed week. Everything that, everything that, everything that has been praised, the Lord. Everything that, everything that, everything that has been praised, the Lord. Praise in the morning, praise in the evening, praise when I'm young and when I'm old. Praise when I'm laughing. Praise and I'm grieving. Praise every season of the soul. If we could see how much your word, your power, your might, your endless love, surely we would never see.